was a, it was a blessing to be out there, and um, it was you know the emotions was you know kind of can't explain. It was a amazing scene. You know the ball popped up off uh, Deion's head. It was a great job by him. And um, once I saw him there, you know I, I knew I could go get it, and once I got it, uh, you know it was a clear path to the end zone. What crossed your mind as you were breaking the goal line? Um, oh, uh, uh, really, you know, just uh, excited, you know, happy, happy to uh, finally, you know, be out there and get a chance to to play. You carried the ball in high school, right? Yes, sir. There was no chance you were helping that thing. No, yeah, exactly. I looked up, uh, as I was running, I looked up at the jumbo trying to make sure nobody's behind me, but uh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what you No, I was looking up there to make sure no one's behind me, so. Yeah, it's it's amazing, you know. Like you said, local guy. So you know, I plenty a lot of people support from a lot of people. Uh, once I got off the game, looked at my phone and saw everybody's text and social media. How many of my family? Um, my family personally, I think six, but there was a lot of my friends and stuff that were in the stands. People going to Marysville in the stands. That was great. You know, he got his hands up. I think he went off his helmet actually. Um, but he had a great rush getting out there and uh, got in the way of the ball. And so when he popped it up, it was pretty pretty easy for me. So credit to him. Do you see a lot of that from him on the defensive line? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's he's a beast. So he's uh, he'll be he'll be a real good. How much was for you? I'm your backup, but to make a play like that, your confidence. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely gives you confidence. Um, I think it. Uh, Kind of gives us maybe maybe confidence to the coaching staff, you know, that I, I, I can do this. So, um, you know, just keep working through things. Um, play all special teams, so embrace that role right now and do the best I can for the team. How do you keep yourself ready when you're not playing for most of the game and then to get in there to make a play like that? Yeah, um, that shows, uh, that comes back to the study, um, studying the film and um, be prepared mentally throughout the whole game, locked in mentally beside coach, you know, watching what plays are being called, you know, what you do in each fit. And um, now that you have your iPads on the sideline, going through every call um, after after the racks are done. So. When was the first time that you dreamed of scoring a touchdown in Ohio State? Oh, first time dreaming? Uh, I mean, since I was a little kid, I've always been a high State fan, so that's always been a, a, a goal of mine. Did you think about that when you're scoring that play or afterwards? Uh, I mean, I was just thinking score, you know, don't get caught, as I was, I was thinking. But uh, after, you know, was um, seeing all my teammates and stuff, it, it definitely did uh, feel, uh, feel great, so. James Lord, I was talking to Kip about you know, playing the hot hand at the league. Yeah. That's not always the case. How refreshing is that to just feel like if you're making plays and preparing while we're practicing, you know, you'll have a chance to see the field. No, that's really reassuring. You know, I trust him, so um, he'll, he'll uh, you know, I trust him fully with the job, so he'll, he'll put the best players out there. So. When you have a moment like that, does it validate, you know, the fact that you're still here, that you're still fighting to get on the field here? Yes, sir, exactly. You said it right on. You know, it, uh, you know that I am. I'm still here. I'm still fighting, and uh, you know I'm gonna do what's best for the team right now, and uh, keep working. You mentioned that you know a play like that could potentially lead to more things for you. What do you feel like your role can be the rest of the season? Yeah, um, just keep working on defense. Um, whatever the coach asked me, and I know I'm gonna get more opportunities on defense. So um, making count when I'm in there, and um, I know the coaches trust me on special teams a lot. So uh, embrace that role and uh, be the best player. You know, whatever I do. Saturday. Yeah, what yeah. Was that like? Oh, uh, it was good. Um, you know, I, I don't know how it's going to go when it's it's real, real loud. You know, when I was in there, it wasn't too loud. Um, but uh, you know, in third downs in the shoe, you know, it gets crazy loud. So we have to communicate communicate to everybody. So um, we'll see. How much did you like practice leading up to the game? Um, we practiced a lot. You know, if if our because the the helmets go out sometimes. So if the helmets go out, we got to signal to do everything. So we're good. Did you guys like help Sonny with that transition with him having to move over to Mike? Yeah, yeah, we definitely did. Everybody did. Um, everybody was behind him, and uh, he's a really smart player. Obviously, you know, his talent speaks for himself, but um, really smart player, uh, and he's, he'll be a great linebacker. All right, DA, thank Appreciate you. It. Yeah, yeah.